Samsung had some really bad luck with the battery on the Galaxy Note 7. Some estimate $17 billion worth of bad luck. Yesterday, Samsung explained that they used over 700 engineers to figure out where all their bad luck came from. So let's see what they found out. Lithium ion batteries are made of layers. Positive and negative electrodes wrapped around each other like an electrically charged toilet paper roll. Normally, these positive and negative layers are insulated from each other because as we know, anytime the positive and negative leads on a battery touch, they short circuit and cause sparks. That's why nearly all batteries in existence have warnings on them saying not to crush or damage them. I disassembled my first Note 7 right after I bought it, like I always do. Notice that white battery icon in the top corner of the phone? I removed the battery for the teardown video. This was before the first recall and before anyone knew the batteries were exploding. You can see here on the corner of the battery that it curves in just slightly. Samsung used the word deflected to describe this curve. That deflection is what caused the positive and negative electrodes to touch inside the battery making it short circuit, spark, and catch fire inside of the phone. I purchased another Note 7 after the first recall was complete and the phone was re-released again. See that black square on the label of the box? and the green battery icon in the corner of the phone. These two things mean that the phone is safe to use, or so we thought. Here is me taking apart the safe Note 7 to analyze the new replacement battery. My mom says I need a girlfriend. The interesting part on this fixed battery is that the printed date is August 29th, 2016. This battery was manufactured before the initial recall date of September 2nd, and before the re-release of the phone less than a month later after the first recall. That's incredibly interesting. Samsung was using replacement batteries that were manufactured before they even announced the recall. Which also means this battery was manufactured before Samsung even researched the problem. It makes you wonder if some of their bad luck is self-inflicted. Now the manufacture of these two batteries is different. The safe replacement battery is made by this factory, and the original battery is made by this factory. So Samsung probably assumed that the second battery was fine purely since it came from a different factory. It's super interesting that both the old battery and the fixed, safe battery have the same deflection in that upper right corner. iPhone batteries on occasion have exploded as well. They are not exempt from the inherent dangers of lithium. They use the same internal technology. But Apple's batteries are also straight up and down on the sides as you can see here from the battery inside the iPhone 7. There is no deflection and no flaw, which means that the rate of failure is going to be exponentially smaller. Now Samsung said that the reason for the second group of batteries exploding, group B, or the safe ones, was because the positive electrode welding burr was poking through the insulation tape. When welding or soldering, a burr is something that sticks up or isn't flush with the finished surface. The installation tape is probably this blue stuff here and the burr was pushing through that and touching the negative electrode. And when the positive and negative points touch, sparks fly and bad things happen. My tweezers are intentionally acting as the short circuit in this video, shorting the positive and negative layers together to effectively demonstrate the actual event. I think Samsung has done an amazing thing by recalling 3 million phones, and unfortunately losing a lot of money in the process. It takes some real backbone for a company to do something like that, and they do it for us, their customers. So I'll give them a thumbs up for that. With hindsight though, it's painfully obvious that the second release of the Note 7 was rushed, and the second round of batteries had the same issue that the first round of batteries had with that deflected corner and the short circuit. A little research on Samsung's part between recalls and I still might have a Note 7 in my pocket today. It's been my phone of choice since the Note 2. The good news is that Samsung is not canceling the Note lineup and there will be a Note 8 in the future. And you can bet I'll be buying one for myself. If you haven't returned your Note 7, you really should. Not because you could hurt yourself. That's totally fine and I don't care about that but you could hurt someone else or cause damage to someone else's property, and I do care about that. Don't hurt other people with your negligence. Out of 3 million phones, 96% have been returned. That leaves over 100,000 of you that are making unintelligent decisions. Samsung has made it extremely easy to return the device, and you should take advantage of that. And let me know in the comments if you think Samsung is going to have any problems with the Galaxy S8 that comes out in the very near future. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos I've made on the Note 7, like how they ship exploding phones. Hit that subscribe button, I do appreciate it, and you won't miss any of my future durability tests or teardowns. Thanks a ton for watching, I'll see you around.